guys be careful using the box cutter because it is sharp you don't want to get cut <laughs> life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of hey lovelies sandra ivy rose here well welcome back to my channel so i got this vase from the thrift store goodwill and i thought we we're gonna decorate it and make it a very beautiful piece we're gonna start out with using these mirror tiles it's called mini um mirror tiles <laughs> and um and i got that from amazon all the links of the products that i use will be listed in the description box below so i'm using my cutter knife to um, cut a little piece of the mirror tiles and you're gonna see how i do it um, putting it around the vase Um, the tiles they come with the adhesive on the back so we're just going to apply it just like so um, I do recommend using a stronghold um, glue like the a6000 just to secure it and make sure that it doesn't come off later on okay So I decided to add more of the mini mirror tiles to the vase and I'm just cutting um, a little bit more, a bigger piece to apply. Guys, be careful using the box cutter because um, it is sharp and you don't want to get cut. <laughs> Next, we're going to continue to glam this vase up by using these um, blinging rhinestones that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to wrap it around the neck of the vase just like so. Again, I'm going to be using the hot glue, but of course I recommend using a more permanent glue, super glue, E6000 glue, with something that will last a little bit longer. How are you guys doing? I'm just checking in on you. Um, if it's your first time here on my channel, thank you for stopping by. I um, appreciate you checking out my content. I make DIY projects on a budget, but very glam, very beautiful. So if you guys are interested in that kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up and encourage me um, to do more videos for you guys. And let me know that you enjoy watching them or making them the projects <laughs> um, and don't forget to click on your bell notification so you don't miss my videos well thank you so very much guys and all my um, subscribers thank you for continuing to watch my videos I really do appreciate it I'm trying to be more consistent and make more videos for you guys all right Guys, use scissors instead of a box cutter to cut the piece off. <laughs> it's much safer. Moving on, we're going to be using some diamond crush glass and we're using Mod Podge to apply it onto the glass and a brush and you'll see where I put it right there so guys if you don't have this particular um, vase anything similar you can use the same um, decoration ideas 
I'm just giving you this idea to inspire you to um, decorate your vase and make it um, more beautiful <laughs> and to um, give it that glam, expensive look. Um, please be careful <laughs> do not touch the glass the way I'm touching it with my hands because it can cut you so I would recommend using um, some type of barrier like a glove um, like to pat it down a little bit or just wait for it to dry but I was a little bit impatient so <laughs> but anyway yeah just be careful um, and not to touch the glass with your bare hands We're gonna take it up a notch by using glitter. So I'm using the coarse glitter and the fine glitter. And I got um, those at um, Michael's, but I do have, um, they do have them on Amazon. And I'll put links down for you guys if you are interested. So I'm just dabbing a little bit just to give it that extra sparkle and extra glam. I'm gonna be using this silver strip that I got from Amazon right there on the bottom just to make sure everything um, like the fallouts are more contained and for it to look a little bit nicer. So I mix some Mod Podge and glitter and water together and on the bottom part of the vase I'm just going to add the fine glitter um, like so. Alright guys, it's all done. Wow, it came out so very beautiful. Let me know guys what you guys think. I did put some lights inside if you want to give it that glowy look, that glowy effect. And I'll put the link down below. All I did was just stick it in there um, and you could take it out whenever you want. Um, if you want that, you know, ambiance look. Anyway, I think it came out so very beautiful. Let me know what you guys think, guys. These two candle holders next to this vase I had made in a previous video. So if you're interested in knowing how to make that, please check out that video. So I have this vase placed in my entryway on this side table that I made in my previous video. So if you're interested in knowing how to make that table, um, just check it out. I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description also in my playlist all right guys if you enjoyed this week's video well give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and leave a comment down below well thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video Mwah.